the trends in the market, what are you seeing? Um, what are your perspectives? Because there's, uh, we're pretty heated now, and IPOs are cooling off, but what are you, what are you, what are you all seeing? So, I'm seeing a lot of uh, cybersecurity, a lot of uh, intrusion. Exactly what uh, Code DX I'm doing underwriting right now for a, uh, a very exciting company that's in that industry. Uh, so I'm seeing a lot of that type. It's, it's something that we all face on a day-to-day -day basis, and we don't realize the threats that are coming to the United States and uh, what everybody keeps seeing are computer glitches. Um, clearly, they're not computer glitches. So any type of uh, defense mechanisms that are put into place in that industry, we're looking healthcare, all of the marketplace as a whole, uh, biotech life science has been down quite a bit over the summer. Uh, we're still seeing a lot of new and innovative uh, opportunities come to us. We have a few underwritings we're doing this year on that as well. And FinTech uh, obviously is still still strong, and I think that as the capital markets continue to evolve, any type of technology um, that's related to, to finance, I think is a good opportunity as well. Okay. Yeah, I would actually just echo um, those comments. I mean, so we, we kind of find ourselves focused on areas that I would consider all hot right now, right? So healthcare technology, payments, fintech, um, government uh, security, IT security, uh, and valuations, you know, I think are still, for, for good businesses, uh, are still very healthy, right? You, there's still a ton of money sitting on the sidelines. I would say it's cooled off a little bit over the last six months. Um, I think there was just a lot more, and I think certainly the IPO markets uh, probably, probably put a little s slow down there um, in terms of, of just from an activity standpoint. So uh, companies uh, that are, that are you know, are good businesses, it's still a good time to sell, right? And you can still go out and get an auction, and there's still a lot of buyers um, within, you know, within that domain uh, that, that's going to help you. Um, it, it makes it you know a little bit more challenging for us from uh, from a buy side standpoint. Um, the other thing I would say is that there's also you know alternative from an alternative standpoint. There's a ton of cheap debt out there, right? So if you wanted to go out and instead of you know raising capital, instead of raising equity, um, you wanted to raise debt. You know there's a lot of very cheap debt uh, and a lot of players in that space that are chasing companies to try to provide capital um, to those guys. So you know I think overall the market still you know. I still think it's overvalued in, in many sectors. Um, valuations are still pretty high, um, but you know I think it's starting to slow down a little bit. But I think you can still find you know good businesses for, for reasonable values. At least you know we like to think we can. So, what about social digital advertising? I know that's a loaded one. Yeah, I mean we we our guys don't do we don't do a ton of it. Um, although I've looked at a lot of it. Um, it's and that's slowed down quite a bit. I mean, it's there's a lot of there's a million companies right now at tech, right? So so I think a lot of certainly early stage investors, I think, are of the opinion that most of the, the, the plays have been made um, that there's going to be consolidation and roll up. It's, a, it's still a very fragmented space, and so um, if you've got a larger checkbook, you can certainly uh, certainly make some some headway from an acquisition standpoint. Uh, but I think you know the the IPO market on the tech has been pretty brutal. None of the companies have done very well, so um, I think that's been a uh, a little bit of a limiting factor on, in terms of ad tech. Yeah, well, well, I've seen that the the ones that are more mature and are revenue generating are getting money, and they're getting that next tranche, the tens, the twenty millions. So it's still out there for you, but the mature ones are, are moving. So go ahead. Um, There's actually a question for Tim and a question for Mark. Uh, Tim, uh, do you do you get involved in auctions, or do you prefer proprietary deal flow? And um, what are your what's your source?